Hi, it's Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson here with Richard Irving from the Xbox engineering team. Richard, nice to see you again. Always great to be here. Now, Richard, normally you and I meet every month and talk about updates coming to Xbox One, but this time we have something really exciting. We're going to be talking about Xbox on Windows 10. As you saw from the the Windows event, we've got really big plans for Xbox and Windows 10. Mm -hmm. Uh, In the future, we're going to enable streaming games from your Xbox One to Windows 10. Uh, We're going to enable game DVR for every game that you play on Windows 10. We're going to enable cross-device party chat so that players can chat with their friends regardless of the Windows uh, or Xbox device they're playing on. And this marks the first of our monthly updates, just like we do... Uh, with the Xbox One console, this marks the first of our monthly updates for the Xbox app on Windows 10. All right, let's jump in right now and take a look at the Xbox app on Windows. Uh, So uh, what you're seeing here is our first technical preview of the Xbox app. And uh, we really focused on the essentials that you need to connect to Xbox Live and connect with your friends on Xbox Live on the PC. Now, for those Xbox One owners, a lot of this is going to look familiar, but let's jump in and, and go through them. On the left-hand side, you can see some some basic navigation uh, around the app. On the right-hand side, you can see your friends list, which that friends list will go with you wherever you are uh, in the app. And then the center of the action is is right here with the activity feed. So it's a feature that we introduced with, with Xbox One that really has become the heartbeat of Xbox Live. And so you can see uh, in this activity feed, it's the same activity feed you'd see on the console, and you can see what all of your friends are up to. So when they earn new achievements, when they make new friends, when they share new game DVR clips, uh, it all appears in your activity feed where you can like, comment, and, and share them further. So Richard, tell me a little bit about the friends list. I see a few new features here. So we're debuting a couple of new features for uh, making new friends on Xbox Live in the Xbox app for Windows 10. Uh, So you'll see at the top of the friends list here, there's a a find friends button. And when you click that, you're going to see uh, a list of suggested friends based on criteria like friends of friends, people who are sharing their real name, people you, that you've played games with recently a lot, things like that, just to, to help strengthen the social connections that you have on Xbox Live. Uh, and so we're also bringing a feature that debuted in the February update for Xbox One with this concept of VIPs. And so VIPs, if you'll remember, are people who are uh, popular Twitch broadcasters, people who are very popular in the community with the game DVR clips uh, that they're recording and sharing. And so we're also going to uh, suggest those people People to you as well. Now I can see over here we also have messages. The the rich messaging system that we added to Xbox One uh, last year with real-time threaded messaging, you can also access from your Xbox app and communicate through text messages to any of your friends regardless of the Windows device they're playing on. Richard, profiles are very important. Tell me what's new on the Xbox app. Uh, well, you'll see here at the top of the navigation bar on the left is your, your gamer card. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you click through that, uh, you're going to see your profile as you have customized it on your Xbox One. Uh, so you can see an activity feed that is scoped to just your activity on Xbox Live. You can browse through all the games that you have played and earned achievements in. You'll be able to see your friends list and people that you're following and are following you, uh, as well as your game DVR clips that you've recorded on Xbox One. All right there on your profile. That's right. This all looks great, Richard. What else can you tell us? Uh, Well, what's important to us is that you be able to take your Xbox experience with you wherever you are in Windows. Uh, And so you'll see that you can customize you can customize the app to give you notifications when your favorite friends come online, uh, when your friends start broadcasting on Twitch, and then wherever you are in Windows, you'll get those notifications and you'll be able to respond to them directly and go back to the app to engage with your friends. Regardless of where you game, it's great news. Richard Irving from the Xbox team, thanks for joining us. Thank you. 